Ah, I've been expecting you. You ever notice that's basically how all drama channels operate these days, switching their camera angle, their outfit, and therefore increasing their production value? Well, I'll be honest, I absolutely hate drama. I have never been particularly entertained by the concept of drama, of leeching of other people's misery and their wrongdoings. But I do enjoy the occasional Nerd City or iDubbbz video back when he still made Contact Hops, so call this my Duke Sleuth video. Because sometimes there are things that just need to be called out, that need to be pointed out, and today is one of those topics. Today we are going to talk about compilation channels in Smite, and more specifically, best of Smite. So this story will be about theft, bribery, begging for sympathy, maybe some threats in there as well, flexing on people with your wealth, and the operation that is best of Smite. And I say operation for a reason, because it's more than just this one channel, but we'll get to that in due time. A quick summary of what Best of Smite is. It is a compilation channel for Smite videos where they showcase the best pentakills or whatever of the week, of the month, of the year and upload those videos for everyone to watch all those successive plays, which come from other players. And I hope you appreciate me making this video because I absolutely had to ruin my recommended for this. This whole thing involves quite a few people. Aside of Best of Smite, this involves Brutal Maglini Time, Hatmaster, Mythimu, Stormed, Darku, and adapting a little bit. So all of their links will be in the description, with the exception of Best of Smite, of course. And you can check out their channels and you can support them and please do that. Those are fantastic channels, all in their own right. And yeah, support them directly instead of proxy support. Furthermore, I obviously got permission for all the clips that I will be using in this video. Now let's go back a few years, because I actually talked about Best of Smite in the past, it was on my Twitter though. And back then, as you can see from the tweet, I pointed out that he does multiple ad rolls per video, had a watermark on his videos, and his credits weren't even linking the videos, and he didn't have permission from people for their videos. Quite a long list of things. And things have developed in various different ways, with his channel being taken down in between, and coming back up, and then him trying to do it better, and then trying to do worse again, apparently. So we are gonna unwrap all of that step by step and make this a bit of a deconstruction. This is going to be in mostly chronological order, but we have to put some things at the start. And the first thing is briefly talking about highlight channels in general, because I know what some of the responses will be otherwise, and probably still will be, because some people just don't watch the video and just look at the title. Highlight channels exist for pretty much every popular game. That is correct. That is not something that anyone has an issue with in itself. But there are many arguments that are often made in defense of highlight channels when they do something wrong that I want to quickly debunk here. So the first one is fair use. No, highlight channels do not inherently fall under fair use. Fair use is something that in some cases has to be debated in court and is definitely to some degree up to interpretation in regard to the law and depends on the country as well. But at the end of the day, fair use implies that the work is transformative. If you just put clip after clip after clip, that is not transformative work under most standards. If you add it further than that, then you can argue transformative work. Highlight channels are free promotion for the creators. In some cases, that may be true, but appropriate steps have to be taken in order to achieve that. Just uploading a clip is not automatically free promotion. And often this promotion is very small because many of these people simply only watch highlight channels. Clips aren't actually owned by the people making them, but actually the game company behind it, in this case, Hyrus. Again, copyright laws are complicated, but yes, the game in itself is owned by the company. The clips are not so much. Technically, a company like Hyrus could decide to take all of your content down as a YouTuber because it contains their game, it contains Smite. This happened with PewDiePie and Firewatch a while back. However, they cannot transfer ownership of your clip, which is transformative work because it includes your voice and maybe your face cam or whatever, to someone else and say that's theirs now because we own the game behind it. But 
content creator X, Y, and Z said that it's okay. Listen closely, Karen. Nobody cares what the f your brother-in-law thinks. It's irrelevant. It doesn't matter what someone else thinks as long as anyone owns any of the content and has a problem with this. Simple enough. Somebody using other people's content for a highlight montage isn't doing anything wrong. That's just incorrect by all standards that we're currently going by because otherwise you would not be able to strike down a video based on the fact that they are using your content. So who is Best of Smite and what do they do? And they is something I say for a reason because at least at some point this operation was a two-man thing or at least one person and another fake account. I think at this point it's just one person but I can't be 100% sure. We will however assume that it's just one guy for the rest of the video because I just want to keep saying he. What Best of Smite does is putting highlights together from different players, putting good clips from different players together, sometimes adding copyright music on top of them. No further transformative work beyond that, barely a transition between the clips. He monetizes this content as well. He also does not credit the makers of these clips itself, so he rarely links anything, or if anything, he usually links just the general directory of the clips, like Twitch and the Smite section or YouTube or Reddit or something. He does not get permission from the creators, as you can see from this example with adapting, and he just takes his clips from Reddit, Twitch and YouTube. Now we are ready to talk about the incidents. We're going to begin with Mythimu. Mythimu was actually not directly affected, but Mythimu actually made a video about this topic based on my tweet two years ago. And since then, I thought the thing was solved, but Best of Smite is back now, so here we are. In that video, Mythimu already found out that Best of Smite wasn't on his first channel because he claimed his channel was hacked. There's gonna be a lot of air quotes in this video. Mythimu thought that the much more likely chance was that his first channel simply got too many copyright strikes and got taken down for that or got demonetized. I can't prove that one, but based on what we'll see later, that theory might very well be true. And here's where it gets really interesting. Like I said, a while after that video, Best of Smite disappeared. He did not upload anymore, and this happened multiple times, and this was due to copyright strikes that he received from other people. And we'll talk to some of those people and hear about their stories. Now let me quickly explain why this happened if you're not that familiar with YouTube. Usually your first copyright strike doesn't really matter all that much, but if you get on your second copyright strikes then you will get issues with the monetization and you have to wait for the first copyright strike to disappear again. On your third copyright strike you can outright have your channel deleted. So what you want to do if you are someone who's taking other people's content is you want to never go over the threshold of two copyright strikes if you want to keep monetizing stuff and then just wait it out until those strikes are gone and then come back and make more money. And that is of course exactly what Best of Smite is doing. We will get back to Mythimu later, but now we're going to chapter one, Darku. Darku was one of the first people who had interactions with Best of Smite that were not so pleasant. One I couldn't exactly place, I think it's from Darku, if it's not, I'm sorry, some of these resources were really old and I had to dig them back up, but that one was already an interesting one because that was an old comment from Best of Smite. Hello my friend, this guy, a channel that no longer exists, hacked my account and earned money from your video without permission. So someone else hacked Best of Smite's account and randomly uploaded smite clips, you know, because that's what you would do. I tried hard to create this channel and he stole it. And you try hard for your growth. This guy use your this video in this best of video. Best of video also no longer exists at this point. Do you like to help me to copyright strike this guy for this bad reason? Well, he got one thing right. It's definitely a bad reason because he doesn't provide any proof for anything. So at that point, he claimed someone else was the one uploading videos on his behalf and for some reason linked that person's channel because he knew exactly. Questionable enough, but hey, some people are just weird. But we're getting from weird to sketchy real quick right now. So you can see a clip from Darku in the background. 
that Best of Smite stole. He just uploaded that on his channel and in response Darku gave him a copyright claim. And Best of Smite was not happy about that and reached out to him on Facebook. First, it was this person reaching out. Hello, I am a form Best of Smite. I saw your Cory right. I am very unhoopy for this. I saw your comment in my video for your video and I believed that you was okay with my source to promote your channel or video. Do you like to delete this claim and I will delete this video? Or do you like something like big sorry from me? I would like one good solution for this bad situation. <laughs> Daku wasn't too happy and responded with that's to Batman, maybe ask for permission from people you steal content from. Then he got basically the same message with slightly better spelling again, but from another account. And that also went a little bit further. He said, you can resolve this with this link, I wait for your suggestion and then linked him my claims. So he was already familiar with how exactly this goes down because that's the link to your own copyright claims on other videos. Dark would simply responded with no, because why would he? And that got Best of Smite started. Mmm, without anything, I don't have problem. I will wait a month to delete it. <laughs> but do you want money to delete this? I will wait your amount. <laughs> the good is to try to begin better. <laughs> I don't even know what he means by that. Is he trying to say he's trying to better himself because he hasn't been so far? Not to stop someone. <laughs> I can give you money and promote you and help you with your channel. I can give you money. Now it's getting interesting. Daku still wasn't interested. He said, the video will stay copyrighted. It's not for money or anything. It's on principle. You shouldn't steal content. I'm not taking the claim back. I will give you 50 E and I will stop steal your content. I ask big channel. I didn't say that you have 900 subscribers. I was new in YouTube and I didn't know. This is the episode 8. After a weekend banned me in episode 14 and I understand. It was a big mistake. You must think better. Big sorry again. It. That was not a lie by the way. He gave him a strike. He said a while later to El Chapo slash El Leon that he did strike the Smite best guy's content and told him to stop using his stuff. But somehow he thought that because it's older episodes, it's somehow okay and he shouldn't have to take down the older clips. So yeah, he thought he was fine that way. No, oh, Daku was obviously amused with that. He said, we can ban you too. That's pretty funny. Haha, <laughs> yes, but delete the claim. Ha! <laughs> I don't want money. I'd rather just punish you with YouTube's awful copyright system. He deleted this because he is professional and I don't conv. <laughs> Okay, my last offer was 100 E, Beacos, I think you, ha, <laughs> to claim something from YouTube and because my mistake was big, ha, <laughs> although in some month this will be deleted automatically, ha, <laughs> I'm not Weaken, I'm Darku, no. And this is where it gets really serious because of the smiley stop. Okay, seriously, I hope to resolve this problem logically. I am 26 years old, I need this channel because my girl wait a baby. How old are you? Do you like to help you to improve your channel or anything else? Weekend is pro and I want to help you to help me. A. What a helpful guy. B. Keep that baby story in mind, it's gonna come back up. That might actually be true as well. And Darku once again declined and sent him a link of the video which at that point was already taken down. Ha 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 ha! You have fun. How old are you? I earn 2000 bro. You? I want to help you. Very interesting how just before he was begging for sympathy, being like, I need the money from my girlfriend, and now he's like, Baha, but I earn 2000 bro. How old are you, you little kid? But he's wanting to help him as well, of course. If you earn loads, you don't need the video. Haha, <laughs> maybe. Ha! <laughs> I need to help you. How old are you? Your money per month. You only want to stop someone or to increase your skill. I don't need nobody's help, bro. I'm all good. So great, in fact, I even got your video taken down. You're old? Your English is awful, by the way. Yes, I am from Greece. I am very proud for this. <laughs> Age? 
14, 15, girl, school, your life. Give me your address, your social security number. I want everything. I want to dox you. Now, here's a little message for you, best of smite. Do not try to dox people. And especially not from your own personal Facebook account. That's just, that's just bad, man. So after we've gone through all this bribery, semi-threatening, pity party, whatever, let's go to chapter two, Stormed. Now this one is a quick one, but Stormed had his own little run-in with Best of Smite a long time ago. This is not two months ago, this is ages ago, I don't know the exact date. It was after Darku, which we'll see from the number of the episode. Hello Stormed, how are you? I saw you striked my WTF Moments 28 video. Sorry for my bad behavior and for bad feelings. I imagine that I can use your clips from Twitch because someone clipped your video. So do you like to help me? Although I understand my faults to delete the claim with one good solution. I respect your person and streaming sure. I need this channel because I love to create my channel and okay, I want this money to grow up my nine month baby. I don't want to cry or anything, but I would like to find one good solution and would like to ask me to converse this. Have a nice day. Again, this is a little later. This is episode 28. He got a strike on episode 8 and on episode 14. So he knows what's up and he knows that he's not allowed to use clips because someone clipped your video. He knows all this at this point. He says he does not want to do the pity party, but he does the pity party again. And also keep in mind that here he says he does this because he loves to create smite content. We'll see about that one. Chapter 3. Brutal Maglini time. The BMT boys are probably familiar to most of you at this point. If not, go check them out. Also, our Brutal Maglini boys had their own run-in with our favorite channel, Best of Smite. And they will tell you that story themselves. And in the background, I will show a clip that they sent me where they proved that their clip was uploaded to Best of Smites channel quite a while ago without any credit at all. Yeah, so we're the type of guys that like to do stupid sh and try to win the game by doing something stupid. Oftentimes, it doesn't work. <laughs> but when it does, man, when it does, when it does, we break the game. And uh, we're essentially the bad guys in the story of the devs of Smite. Because we're not we bad guys. <laughs> That's what bad we, guys look, look, okay, okay. Maybe the time that we trapped someone in their base with the two Anubis towers, maybe that was a little evil. We were the bad guys in that story. Those guys could not leave their base. We have been stolen from a best of smite a couple of times. The first few times we messaged him and we tried to be amicable about it. We were like, okay, dude, you can use your clips. Oh, just yeah. please ask us. It would be really nice if you just asked us because uh, we feel that we are at least entitled to some, you know, form of uh, in the description. This is the people that we took the clip from. Yeah. And we were being very open about it. Uh, and then after the third time, because this happened twice before the third, third time, we were just like, all right, he's doing it maliciously. And and so we just copyright strike him all those three videos. And the guy probably got really scared. So. We thought after that third time, after we copyright striked him really hard, that he would just, uh, that he disappeared because he did disappear for a while. No, he did. <laughs> yeah. And after, after a few, after a few months, he came back. And the first thing that we hear about it is Dick sending us a video. It's like, Hey guys, best of smite is at it again with another Minecraft let's play stealing your. <laughs> and so, hey. you know. <laughs> like, why, you know, why, would they, why would you steal like from the people from, that copyright from, strike you <laughs> the, the, the people that took down your channel why would you steal from them again oh yeah before <laughs> before i copyright struck and i commented the little eyes emoji just like i'm i see you <laughs> why would he do that the logo was in the thing <laughs> yeah you could see the logo that's the best part he had to take in it out of our clip out of our video because you it's a, it's a clip right after the the intro so you still see the logo of the pig spinning at the beginning of that <laughs> it's so yeah. good it's so ridiculous i don't know how you could just <laughs> from those out there before you copyright strike download the video and make a, a clip like we did because maybe if he disputes it you still have proof the clip that Brutal Poseidon is talking about, by the way, does no longer exist. 
Best of Smite has completely taken down the video, which may somehow be an attempt, a strategy to avoid copyright strikes. I'm not entirely sure. The interesting thing is that the boys striked him three times, which should normally lead to a channel termination. And I am not entirely sure what he did to circumvent that, but somehow he seems to have found a way to avoid that. And of course, he's looking for more ways to avoid that. Hello, I saw that streak of me two times for my video, why? I didn't use your clips in my video. All clips that I used was from Reddit. Can you explain me this how you strike me? Oh yeah, right. We knew that we know that cl Twitch clips are bad, but Reddit, you know, Reddit, they don't own that. You, you, you don't own your clip when it's on Reddit. Fun fact, there's actually some copyright struggles when it comes to Reddit and uploading art, but that does not apply for Twitch clips that are linked over to Twitch. That just does not work. Chapter 4. Headmaster. Headmaster, known by some of you as Awful Masterhead as well. Another Smite creator that I can highly recommend checking out. Links again down in the description as all the others. Also experienced some fun times with Best of Smite. Now in his case, things are even more sad and hilarious. Because he basically offered Best of Smite to take one of his clips. The way he did that was he uploaded a YouTube video which included a good play and as a caption in the bottom right he wrote please ask before using best of smite. Thanks baby. So we offered him that clip on a golden plate. He said all you have to do is ask. And of course best of smite didn't ask and instead of taking the clip from YouTube he just ripped the one from Twitch which didn't have that caption. And now that Best of Smite came back, he did the same thing again with Headmaster's newest clip, which you can see here. In response to that, Headmaster wrote him a comment. First clip is mine. Stop stealing clips without permission. You ear royalty free music just so it wouldn't be copyrighted as well. And what do you think Best of Smite did? Would he respond to that? Would he react to that? Well, he reacted by deleting the comment. Chapter 5. Mythimu. Again. And this is where we get back to the start, because now we have something really interesting. For a while, during the time that Mythimu made his video about Best of Smite, there was another channel linked on his Best of Smite channel. And that channel was a Best of Fortnite channel. And what Mythimu found out back then was that essentially Best of Smite stopped uploading on that channel as soon as it didn't get any views anymore didn't really care about the game, he just wanted to make some quick views, some quick clicks by just slapping each clip after each other. Maybe he also got demonetized at some point, who knows, maybe he got a strike from Ninja because I know that Ninja was handing out strikes for exactly this reason for a while. We can't find out exactly, but that channel in that form no longer exists. But I was trying to find that channel and I was trying to look up channel clips by their name and I stumbled across something very interesting. There is a Best of Overwatch channel that is 100% by the same person. You can compare the thumbnails here, it's exactly the same style. And you can also compare the description here, which is a very, very similar format. For example, the same thing with we hope you enjoy, you can send your moments here, you can send your Overwatch plays here. Uh, similar tags that are used in the description to keyword everything. And then last but not least, they also use the same logo in the bottom left of the panel, which is Crazy Shark. I don't know if that was his old name or something. On this channel, he was uploading for quite a while and he actually got massive views on some videos, up to 1.5 million at least. But he stopped uploading, probably because the channel is demonetized. He probably got too many strikes and can't monetize the channel anymore and at that second he was like, okay, I'm gonna drop it. Or maybe because Overwatch is just not bringing enough money anymore, but then I'm not sure why I'd be uploading Smite in comparison. Through that channel, I could also find another channel because he linked a Fortnite channel in one of his cards. If you go on that channel, however, you will see that it's called Cat Planet now with a cat icon and it doesn't actually have any content. More interesting though is that the description itself is keyworded to FIFA. So he's trying to get in the market for FIFA top plays and best of pro players with this channel, even though it doesn't have any content now. So this went from being an Overwatch channel to at some point a FIFA channel to now just being called Cat Planet for whatever reason. 
So he is just trying to get into any market by any means. Always the same keywording strategy. Doesn't really care about anything behind that. Just get the quick clicks and put in minimal effort at all times. And this is why I said, remember that he says he cares about Smite as a game or creating content for it earlier. He does not care. He will go into anything that gets some money and then brag about earning 2000 a month. But hey, maybe he's learned his lesson. Maybe he's doing better now that he's back. Well, looking at how he's crediting and one of his videos, he's linking the Twitch directory and the other one, he's just linking youtube.com. He most definitely has not learned in that regard at all and I don't think he ever will because I don't think he cares. And you can see from his very recent video that the way that he does it does not promote content creators at all because two comments right after each other that I found on the newest video are asking about people in the video, asking who is that, what's their name? And you can most definitely not expect him to answer that at any point. Best of Smite is in it for the quick buck, has no moral standard, will lie, will pretend to be oblivious to all the rules and everything around it, and just play the same card over and over and over until at some point it doesn't work out anymore, like it for example seems to have happened with Overwatch. And understand that copyright and fair use isn't always a simple thing. Because the point where something becomes transformative work is sometimes hard to define. I had my own run-in with that a while ago that I was able to resolve. But sometimes there are situations where it can be hard to determine what's okay. And depending on each country's laws, it can also differ a little bit. But this situation is just very clear in any regard. No one's benefiting from this except Best of Smite. He is not doing the appropriate work to give recognition to the people that actually made those clips, actually put in the work for it. And he's just googling real quick best smite clips or checking the Twitch directory for the top clips of the week and then downloading them and putting them in a video and putting some copyright free music over them. Now, can this be done better? Yes, absolutely. Only I don't think that best of smite is still in the situation to do that because a lot of people don't want him to use their clips anymore. But there's another example that frequently gets brought up in this situation and that is stereotype YouTuber who also makes white content. Now I will say this, this guy wasn't always clean. He used to take people's content and he used to monetize it and not credit appropriately. People called him out for it, he got copyright strikes for it and at some point I think he was even considering to delete his channel. But he was eventually able to figure things out. Currently, he puts their Twitch links in the description and he doesn't monetize the videos. In all honesty, I think if he did it a little bit more extensively and a little bit more thorough, for all I care, he could monetize the videos as well. All he would have to do is ask people for permission to use their clips and timestamp the clips in the description as well. I don't think most creators are opposed to being featured on highlight channels and that being monetized as long as it's done right. I've talked to various people, I've had various Twitter conversations and all of them said, if someone approached me, asked nicely, I would just tell them, sure, go for it. But they don't ask. And you don't even have to ask for any individual clips. You just ask any pro player, anyone who thinks makes good plays on a regular basis, yo, can I use your clips? Is that okay? I will credit you every single time I do. If you're passionate about that, you can do that and you can make money with it as well. No one is stopping you from doing that. And most people, I assure you, will say yes. There will be a few exceptions. Maybe you won't get a response from some, maybe you have to try their business email, and maybe a few people that like to use their own clips frequently will say no. Big deal. You can't use one or two people's clips. But you can edit content, you can make content that the community will enjoy, you can grow your channel and you can monetize it. That is all you have to do, just ask and give credit. You have so many ways, you can put like a little watermark or label in the corner, you can give them an intro text when you transition to a different clip, you can use timestamps, you can just credit everything accordingly with the exact clips or with the channels. It's easy, it's not hard work, highlight channels are still simple to do. And if you didn't want to do that, you could simply spectate pro players games through the client itself and record those plays directly. And that is something that only Hyrus would have copyright over. And again, they don't have an issue with people uploading content. So at that point, you would even be free from the shackles of having to ask people. There's absolutely room for a highlight channel in Smite. And if that stereotype YouTuber and he keeps doing it the same way he's doing it already, or if he changes up his formula a little bit, 
to implement some of the things I'm suggesting, or if it's someone completely different that maybe is inspired by this video to try it, the room is there. But it's not for people who have complete disregard for the creators whose clips they are taking. That's it for this video. If you want to hear more about Smite and my other ramblings, especially what I'm going into tomorrow, which is finally the new starting strategy, hopefully, hopefully it will be then, feel free to click the sub button and maybe the bell. And other than that, see you for the next one tomorrow. Dear Sloth, out. Oh, and best of smite, don't even try to come in here with some sad pity story or some empty threats. We've seen that all from you. We know how it works. You're a grown man. Act like one.